Hello everyone, so in today's video I wanted to do something a little different and I wanted to show you my desktop. Um, and this is it. This is my desktop. And the reason I wanted to show it to you was because I actually went through quite a bit of trouble at the very beginning because my desktop was a mess. And now very often when I talk to other people and I see their desktop is a mess and I kind of wonder how they can, you know, get by um, having that. So to me, my desktop, you know, I started treating it basically like like I would any other space, like a desk space or something like that. And I need it to be in order. And I know I'm a bit worse than some because I really need things to be in order to function correctly. So this is basically my desktop. Here I have, you know, I have what's going on. I have pending jobs here. I have a couple jobs that are pending and so I'm waiting to hear back and I want to keep them handy right here. These are the videos because right now I'm making a couple of these videos like the one I'm recording right now. So I keep them in a folder here. These are printouts. Later on I'm going downstairs and I want to print stuff out. So I have it in a folder here. And then here I have, a, I'm taking a sales course right now and I have some notes there. This is uh, uh, kind of embarrassing. It's kind of like a vision board. I have some stuff in there uh, that I'm working on now, I'm not sure. And this is just an ongoing, uh, I have an ongoing translation I'm doing of, of my grandfather wrote some books in Italian of, about uh, soccer and I'm translating them in my spare time. So anyway, he, he, and this is everything I have going on. Obviously if I need other folders I can find them easily but I really want the bare minimum on my desktop. I probably could get rid of a couple of these from my desktop right now but for now it's fine. I keep, as you can see, the folders are quite small and I keep them on a separate side here so they don't interfere too much with what's going on right now at this moment. By the way, if these jobs are pending for too long, I'll probably move them down here so they're kind of out of sight um, from that location. Oh, and this pops up every now and then because I have my settings where I can see all the hidden folders as well. Um, you know, that can be up to you or not, however you prefer. Anyway, and you know, so, so where are my other folders? Like how can I get my other stuff? And oh, there it pops up again. Anyway, um, so what can, and this is where I keep everything else. As you can see, it, um, it's minimized and so it doesn't even pop up unless I put my cursor over it. Now, I think the default is down here in the bottom. I found it works well for me on the side. I mean, that's, you know, personal, however you want. But here too, I got rid of everything, you know, because uh, Macs come with a bunch of weird stuff, the garage band, the email client and all that. I got rid of anything I don't use and I don't need. Right now I'm using QuickTime Player to tape this. And so obviously it's being in use. I had music on earlier and uh, you know, this is my inbox that I, this, uh, yeah, my browser. And otherwise, you know, I kind of had the bare minimum here as well. And once I close this, in fact, it'll go out of this permanent, uh, the list of permanent stuff. And I try to keep everything as a minimum so I can keep it, you know, as simple as possible there are fewer distractions and it's just a lot more easy for me to function. Now, I recognize not everyone is like this, but I do feel more people are like this, or people are more like this than, than they think. And the simpler things are, the easier it is to get stuff done. A lot of people, if you've been in school, you know if you have to study for a test, you start putting things in order. And I think this is subconsciously because you kind of want to have everything in order before you sit down for something important. So I like having things in order ahead of time. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you and hopefully, you know, this can, uh, this can provide some help for you if uh, you're thinking of working for yourself and, uh, you know, you need to get rid of some distractions. Um, so if you did find this useful, please don't forget to click like and, uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you want more advice, information about uh, freelancing and uh, freelance translation. And otherwise that's it. I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.